Go potty. Go potty. Good girl. Good job. It's a good girl. Hey guys, so you just saw a video of my bird, Kiara, going potty on command. And that's how basically it is and how it's done. And the number one thing I want to say when to how to potty train your parrot is to have first a really good relationship with your bird. Now, if you don't have a really good relationship with your bird, you're not going to be able to potty train it because it needs your bird needs to be able to respect you and trust you. And if you don't have that kind of relationship with your bird, it's never going to want to do anything for you to make you happy. So go ahead and throw that out of the way. If you don't even have a good relationship with your bird, you can't potty train it. Now, if you have a really beautiful relationship with your parrot, then the next step if you want to, is to potty train it. I want to say that every bird is different in potty training. My bird, Kiara, is going to be different from your bird. And their personalities are very different and how stubborn they are is very different. But what I can tell you is to be very persistent and consistent with your parrot. Uh, do not give up and realize that it's going to take time. With Kiara, I would say for her to finally be on point with her potty training, I would say it took about a month. Now, that was me with me spending a lot of time with her every day and making sure that she at least had two hours of human activity a day, and that's minimum. Parrots need a lot of attention, but they are very intelligent. I would say you can potty train even a budgie. Finches, I'm not very sure. So here's how I potty trained Kiara. The first thing I did was I got had to start had a really good relationship with her and when I knew she trusted me and respected me and wanted to be with me pretty much at all times if she could I then decided to potty train her because birds poop a lot and it's just a mess so <clears throat> what I did was that I would not let her out of her cage until she went potty and when she did I would praise her I would take her out and be like oh my gosh good girl and about a week after doing that she really picked up out on that quickly that she was not going to be let out of her cage to play for a while if she didn't use the restroom now if she was out of her cage she obviously would still have her accidents and all of that but I said baby steps so then I progressed to saying the word go potty go potty over and over until she went in her cage and so she started to connect the phrase go potty with going to, to the bathroom so i'll let her out of her cage she started connecting the phrase and i did that for about another week and so once i knew she was catching on real quick and she had a somewhat kind of idea of the phrase i started taking her out and anytime I kind of sense she had to go because she goes every 15 to 20 minutes because she's a medium-sized parrot. Uh, larger parrots can go 30 minutes to an hour. It just depends on your bird completely. Some birds can hold it really well. So when I ever had that kind of feeling that she had to go, I would put her over the trash can or toilet and I would say, go potty. And a lot of times she looks at me like, what are you talking about? The whole that was about a week and a half or two weeks almost it was pretty rough getting her to really go on command also it was really hard to kind of time her which was difficult but our connection got really close she understood what i meant and i could kind of time when she had to go now i also want to mention that kiara has the bladder of a field mouse I don't think most parrots are like that, but she is like that. She goes every 15 minutes, and I've heard Kaiks able to go every 30 minutes. And it's not like big poops. It's always little poops. So that's her. I know her really well. She doesn't, she likes to let it out anytime she can, but she's also only five months old and she eats a lot. So anything that's coming in must come out. Um, so basically she would always, she would start to connect that word with, going to the restroom, and I would always praise her so much. Now, I would not praise her with treats. I think when you're potty training, it's not a really good idea to, you know, praise your bird with a treat because the bird that is then doing it for the treat, they're not doing it to make you happy. But, and I, honestly, the reason why I truly didn't start do with treats is because she's not really that into treats. 
I don't know why. She's just not really into it. She likes everything I feed her. And so that was the big deal is she was doing it for me and she's always done it for me to make me happy and make me proud of her, which I think is a really beautiful thing. So at the end of this video, I'm going to post some cute clips of her. I hope y'all really enjoyed this. And if this method does not work for your parrot, there's three reasons why. One, you're, you're not consistent enough with your parrot to really, so it doesn't really understand. And also that goes with having a good relationship with your parrot. Two, this method is not working for your parrot. Every parrot is different. I would kind of be surprised if it didn't work, but I mean, parrots are strange creatures. Go ahead and look up some more guides on the internet and other YouTube videos. And three, you're not doing it right. Something's wrong with you. So those are the three reasons why it wouldn't work. Thanks for watching and enjoy the clips of Kiara. Is that good? Just a little bit of coke?